Good afternoon, Cross Timbers. Today is Friday, March 29th, 2019, and I am Avery Weatherman. Hot water outage in Honors Hall, opening day, and more coming up next on Texan TV. In campus news, Gatlin Johnson speaks out about the lack of hot water Honors Hall has been experiencing. Hi, my name is Gatlin Johnson and I am currently a freshman living on Charlton State University campus um, and I live in Honors Hall. I was asked to give my opinion on the hot water issue we've been facing for close to three weeks now. Um, we first began to experience hot water issues right at the beginning of March and then they said they nipped it in the bud, it was taken care of and we shouldn't be experiencing any more problems with it. Um, and then that Thursday and Friday before spring break, it went out again. And luckily for the campus, you know, most the majority of students went home for spring break and, you know, were out of town. Um, but unlike myself, unlike others, I had to stay in town for work. And so um, the rec center was closed. So I was forced to take a cold shower that whole week. Um, and then whenever we got back, every other door had a note saying um, that Honors Hall was facing hot water issues. If your hot water wasn't working to please contact the front desk and lo and behold all of the dorms were having hot water issues um and so that was right after spring break and um you know they told they emailed us and told us at the rec center we could use those showers or just find other showers on campus and a lot of residents were unhappy because the way they were looking at it is we pay a lot of money to live in these dorms you know like it it's you know gonna happen you know things are gonna go out things are gonna get messed up you know it's not gonna be perfect all the time but you know when it goes out for more than a week you're kind of like why why is it still out and so a lot of residents were unhappy and some just didn't want to walk across campus and take a shower and so several stayed here while the lack of hot water has been an ongoing issue hot water is expected to be back in honors hall by the end of the week Honors officials have mass ordered gym wipes, dry shampoo, and hand sanitizer for any students who may need it. According to the Stephenville Empire Tribune, Cody Davis, Stephenville native and current NFL defensive back for the Jacksonville Jaguars, will be giving away 100% of the proceeds from his youth football game this summer Stephenville, to the Stephenville Education Foundation. Davis said, growing up as a teacher's son, I have always admired the hard work of our educators and have also seen the need for their support. I look forward to awarding this deserving foundation during the camp week. Cody's sixth annual youth football camp is available for boys and girls in grades first through six and will be held June 22nd at Stephenville High School. And now today's Texas news from the Associated Press. Over 300,000 apprehensions that the men and women of the Border Patrol have made already during this fiscal year. Here in RGV, over 130,000. Not a day goes by that I don't see a, a report uh, from the field that talks about somebody with an active warrant of arrest, whether it's in this country or from other countries. We had a recent uh, individual from Ecuador. He had uh, an outstanding uh, warrant of arrest out for murder in uh, Spain. Now there's a number of people that are exploiting uh, our immigration laws and continuing uh, is to come across either claiming a credible fear or asylum. So we've got to have uh, a sense of a consequence. We've actually taken into custody people from Bangladesh, from China, from India, Pakistan, Egypt, Iraq. We only think it's going to progressively get worse unless uh, we have some major policy revision. For international news, we turn to the AP News Minute. This is AP News Minute. President Trump says the Russia investigation is an elaborate hoax and those behind it should be held responsible. Trump also told a rally in Grand Rapids, Michigan that Republicans will become the party of great health care. Congressional Democrats say they may subpoena special counsel Robert Mueller's entire report. If they don't get it soon, Attorney General William Barr told Congress he'll provide at least a partial version in April. Mexico's interior minister says thousands of people are gathering in Central America to head to the United States. She's calling it the mother of all caravans, but activists say the group that's forming is much smaller. And an uncle and nephew were free after 42 years in prison. A Florida judge vacated the murder convictions of Clifford Williams and Hubert Myers. Prosecutors concluded they no longer believe the two were guilty. That's small. The Associated Press with AP Newsman. 
In international news, according to the Associated Press, South Korean President Moon Jae-in will travel to the United States in two weeks to meet with President Donald Trump. Trump and Jae-in will meet to discuss tactics to strengthen alliances and achieve denuclearization of North Korea along with peace on the Korean Peninsula. This comes after earlier in the month, the Vice Foreign Minister of North Korea threatened to pull out of nuclear negotiations with the United States. In sports news, Texas Rangers player Elvis Andrus walked out to the song Baby Shark for games at Globe Life Park and is planning to keep it. Andrus said he picked the song because of his two-year-old son, Emilio Elvis. He added that it reminds me of my son and gets me where I want to be for an at-bat. The baseball player made this debut with the song during an exhibition game against the Cleveland Indians. The Rangers faced the Chicago Cubs yesterday for opening day and lost 12-4. For weather, we turn to McKinney Hubert. Good afternoon, Erath County. For today's weather, the skies will be mostly cloudy with a high of 72 and a low of 52. Saturday is expected to be windy with a high of 56 and a low of 35. We'll end the weekend with a high of 57 and a low of 37. Have a great day, Texans. This has been a production of Texan TV News, a product of the Texan News Service from the Tarleton State University campus in Stephenville, Texas. Watch us live on Apogee Channel 2.1 in the dorms at 12.30 weekdays. If you live off campus, tune in on Northland Cable Channel 9. You can follow the Texan News Service on Facebook and Twitter and check out our website at www.texannews.net for all of your latest local, state, national, and international news. Today's broadcast was produ produced by Jessica White, McKinney Hubert, Stephen Johnson, and Haley Barnett. Have a wonderful day, Texans.